remaining. Okay, so uh, first up, hit Windows and R key, and then type percent temp percent. This will open up that temp folder. Also, you can go to the start menu directly and type percent temp percent there as well. Once you are in the temp folder, select all the files and hit shift delete to permanently delete all these files and don't worry no data will be lost because all these are temporary and useless files now hit windows and r key again but this time type prefetch this is gonna open the prefetch folder hit continue and Once all the files are loaded, do the same. Select all the files and delete all of them. If you have a dedicated GPU and Valorant isn't using it as the default one, then you can do the following. Also, uh, if you do not really have a dedicated GPU, then also you can do the same. Once you are in the graphic settings, hit browse and locate the valorant.exe or the valorant win64 shipping. Once selected, click options and select high performance. So if you have a dedicated GPU, you will see the GPU's name in the high performance thing. Now just right click this PC and go to properties then on the right hand side go to the advanced system settings in here click settings then in the visual effects in the visual effects tab select adjust for best performance then you can hit apply then ok when it is done uh, go to this PC and then local disk C then go to users and choose your username here you will see a folder called app data if you don't just go to the top menu under the view tab click hidden files and you will have the app data folder Okay, so uh, once you are in the specified location, you will see many different folders with some random names. These are all the IDs that you have used to log in in Riot Games or Valorant. So select the top one and then go to Game Settings, Game User Settings. In the Game User Settings text document, just scroll down to the bottom under the heading Scalability Groups. So uh, this part is really important so do not skip this one. In the resolution quality, by default it is 100 so you can reduce it to 70 or 80. 
Setting the resolution quality below 70 or 80 will make the game look worse and pixelated and it will look somewhat like Minecraft. So avoid it. Do not set it to 30 or 40 because if you do that, that's gonna hurt your eyes, nothing else. Reducing the resolution scales really helps with FPS, but obviously keep it 70 or 80, not less than that. And now about the rest of the stuff, just reduce all of these threes to ones. I'm not changing the view distance quality because I want it to be three, that's why. If you want, you can change it to one. Once all the changes are made, you can go ahead and save the file. Now go ahead and right click Valorant shortcut and go to properties. Under the compatibility section, you can check run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations. Although these two are completely experimental, if checking these boxes helps you, keep them. If not, you can just uncheck them. Now open up Valorant. Once it is open, go to the settings. Make sure all your settings exactly match to the settings that I have. Limit FPS in battery, in menu and in background. I recommend turning them off, but for some lower end PCs, Keeping them on will provide a better and a stable performance, so you can try both of them. Now go to the resolution drop down menu and if you have a native resolution of 1920x1080 like me, I would recommend you to reduce it down to 1280x720 or 1366x768. Then hit apply. Afterwards go to graphics quality and make sure all of the settings are set to low. And WinJet and VSync and anti-aliasing are off and none. Also turn bloom off. So basically everything low and off. Now in the stats, it's better to keep them off. Or if you want them to be there, make sure it is text only. Now uh, go to the audio section and the bottom you will see enable HRTF. Make sure it is unchecked. Enabling HRTF gives you 3D audio but it eats some um, a lot of resources so better turn it off. Now go to the general section. Scroll down a bit and you will see these four options. In these four, keeping all these four off is better. But most importantly, make sure to turn off show corpses because rendering dead bodies will eat up a lot of resources. So turning it off means more FPS. One more thing, uh, even after doing all this, if you face micro stutters in game, what you can do is just minimize the game, go to the task manager and set valorant.exe and valorant win 64 shippingexe in the details tab just set their priority to high and there will be no more problems. And that's it for today's video. I have told everything you can do to increase the FPS in Valorant and avoid stutters and freezes with the in-game settings as well as the PC settings.